Hey everybody, Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. The first official day of IFA. We have checked out the Sony Xperia Z1, but now we're going to put it side by side with another leading flagship smartphone, the Galaxy S4 from Samsung. See how they compare very quickly. Let's check it out. So with the displays turned off, we can kind of more fully appreciate how these devices are built differently, aesthetically speaking. Samsung's rounded corners contrast with Sony's tight radius corners up here. I think the uh, lights went down, so we're about to get some background noise. Hope you'll bear with us through that. Uh, Sony's build is uh, sandwiched glass, as we're familiar with. Samsung's hyperglazed polycarbonate, very different there. Sony's device significantly heavier. Don't have exact specs on that right in front of us, but you can definitely feel the, the weight difference in the hand. Doesn't make the Sony device feel worse. It actually makes it feel a little bit more premium. Sony's product is also rated for uh, immersion and dust resistance. Galaxy S4 is not, although we have to admit we'd feel a lot safer dropping the Galaxy S4 because uh, this dual glass panel construction, you know, might be a, a somewhat quote unquote ruggedized device but it's still probably not going to hold up to drops quite as well. Since they're staring us right in the face, we might as well talk about them. The cameras on these devices, this is a Sony RS 20.7 megapixel camera up against Samsung's 13 megapixel shooter. We've taken a shot with that, but until we get it out in the field, we won't comment too much on the quality here. You can flip the devices on the side. We can see similar controls. Sony's still doing their power standby button on the side there, just like Samsung, but much more pronounced on this device. Uh, this is a micro SIM slot, but we do have micro SD as well. Expandable to 64 gigs. There are variants 16, 32, and 64 on the Galaxy S4. Sony uh, currently only displaying the 16 gig version, but once again, micro SD expandable. Notification LED on the Sony device, just like the hidden one on the Galaxy S4. And under the hood here, let's see if we can get you just a little bit more angle on this. Sorry about the smudging, we did wipe them off. Under the hood, a Snapdragon 600 on some variants of the Galaxy S4, uh, but this one is the octa-core, and a Snapdragon 800 under the hood over here, both of them running with two gigs of RAM. Let's check out how they perform in terms of software. All right, guys, we're gonna try and get through the software here as quickly as possible because we are just getting ridden over with a very loud event in the booth here. Which obviously, we have two different software skins riding on top of Android 4.2.2, and they are very similar in responsiveness. This is Tony's Galaxy S4. He's only got two home screens going on, but there are, of course, of course provision for much more. We're very familiar with TouchWiz. Sony's UI layer, also familiar if you've seen our review of the uh, Galaxy, excuse me, of the Sony Xperia Tablet Z. What's nice in the launcher, you can swipe on it over a little panel here, decide how you want your app launcher displayed, which is quite nice. The camera is a big focus on these devices. We're obviously familiar with Samsung's shooting mode with the various selections you can, you can make. Sony, taking a slightly different approach, but uh, the same controls, just positioned a little bit differently. You're gonna hop in here for your special settings, which we showed you on the hands-on. Not much going on there, and then I believe this is a special shooting mode here. This is very, very cool, where you can come on in here, you can do, this is your burst shot, bunch of effects, you can get your panorama stuff there, and here is, you can see your effects rendered in real time, and it's nice. You're not just forced to do one at a time, you can do all of them. Sorry, there's no, no subject in the shot there. There we go, oh, I like that sketch. That would be kind of fun. Just a lot of fun tools to play with here on this camera module. Certainly, you know, a lot of fun tools on the Samsung device as well, uh, but Sony looks like it's taking it to another level there. We're gonna have, obviously take a closer look at that in the, uh, in the future, but software differences abound throughout, but in terms of response in terms of just the general you know, feel of an Android skin, we're looking at some very, very, very similar stuff here. But once again, that's just a very, very quick look at the Galaxy S4 uh, versus the new Sony Xperia Z1. Stay tuned for a lot more from Pocket Now from IFA. This is just the first official day. So we've got a lot more coming. Tony behind the camera. We'll see you next time soon in another video.